Have you ever watched competitive ballroom dancing when all the 12 or 10 couples are on the floor waltzing around, twirling, dancing? Have you ever wondered why they don't bump into each other? I recently learned this term and what it means in early childhood education in designing environments. Gracious circulation means that children can navigate a space without necessarily touching each other. This is an especially effective technique for designing early childhood classrooms, especially for children who have experienced trauma or children who have ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. Those children sometimes have an adversity. To, they don't want to be touched. They don't want to be close to each other. So providing gracious circulation is a really good technique and a design strategy for children who have experienced that trauma. So how do you obtain gracious circulation? How do you design gracious circulation? Well, one thing that you can do is you can create more than one entryway into a, a learning center. We have a tendency sometimes to do this, watch. We have a tendency to move our cabinets against the wall, right? Just like this. And what that does is now where we had three entries, we now just have one entry. So why don't you try pulling your cabinets or your shelving units away from the wall and allowing and making and designing many areas for children to come into your learning center. In this case, they can come in here, they can come in here, or of course they can come in from the front. So what is gracious circulation? Designing gracious circulation in your classroom means giving children and designing your environment and the layout of your environment so children have freedom of movement so that they can move about your classroom with ease. There are three ways that you can obtain gracious circulation. Number one, reduce the number of shelving units in your classroom. Number two, reduce the size of the footprint of some of your equipment in the classroom. And number three, pull out your shelving units from the wall so that you can provide many, many entries into your learning center.